So part two of this video is like just a short little quick tip on how I organize my tackle. So first off, we got swim baits, but any of the swim baits that I use. So like jointed swim baits, paddle tail swim baits, or this is kind of like a mini jerk bait or something like that, you, but it's considered a swim bait still. Got it in like a tackle box, you're supposed to rip it through the ground and everything, and it's supposed to do its thing. And then I got a bunch of the extra things there. That's swim baits. Next is crank baits and a random fluke in there, of course. But this goes for jerk baits, more jerk baits, ouch. Uh, deep diving crank baits. Lipless crankbaits, square bills, and more square bills, and and there's a couple extra spaces there. I need to get more crankbaits, especially jerk baits. This is a this is actually a monster bass. This is what I was using that I've been using the whole entire season. Haven't had any haven't caught anything on it, but I've had hits on it. But the rod I have is too soft, so I cannot capitalize on those short little hits. But that's the, that's the cranking box or cranking box. Next is my favorite box, and that is top water. It's got my frogs in there. It's got spooks in there and little uh, buzzing baits. I'm gonna get a couple. I'm gonna get a, wall, a couple wall poppers in here. This one right here, I've caught two. I've caught a few fish on this, including a uh, nice pike. Took a little, took it a little bit, but. Well, I don't know if it was a nice, it was just a pike though, but yeah, I like these. these this is the Livingston Lures Pro Sizzle, really good. But that's the top water box, and that should hopefully get used in the summer and fall a ton. Last but not least, we got the Terminal Tackle Box, which I don't want to flip this anyways. This has the weights, drop shot stuff, there is a drop shot hook flying. Uh, punching hooks and punch stops, punching weights. Uh, Texas hooks, um, some jigs, of course. You gotta, you gotta get some jigs for multi-species fishing. Got a couple extra wide gap hooks. I'm not a big fan of the extra wide gap. I just seem to miss hook sets on them. Um, shaky head and um, a scrap. I think this is a scrounger attachment. Big, what do you call it? Jig with a pedal to the swim bait on it. I have no idea what I did here. I actually I don't even think I used it. I think my friend used tried using this. Because I let him use some stuff out of my taco box to try to catch some fish. Ended up catching I think one the entire day. But also got the giant I'd say musky like uh, extra wide gap hook and that is for jumbo uh, uh, ribbon tail worms. I need to get another package of these because I lost mine. Don't mind. There's a super tiny hook on there. Got some fish grips in case if I catch something and I need to weigh it. Got well, we have this, but if it's a bass, then this is a little too heavy. This is a 50 pound one, a little too heavy. But oh, fish. Last night or something, things, but got these. These are fish grippers. Which you don't have to have, but I recommend putting this in your talk box is a couple sets of clippers. They come in handy for clipping the line really close, or when you're tying knots, put this put this around your neck and you can just clip it off easy. Instead of using your teeth to bite it or grabbing the pliers and everything, just put this around your neck, hold up, clip it. Pretty easy. Okay, yeah, guys, that is my terminal tackle. Well, not my terminal tackle, my tackle. I'm hoping for a good 2017 season. I started. I started my season yesterday fishing and it was 70 degrees outside so yeah that's good weather for Nebraska especially in February as you can tell right there probably can't see that but February weather um, I might be going fishing tomorrow I got a truck to go look at and I work at five but yeah that's pretty much it um, thanks for watching